Picture this, you walk outside and everybody is wearing glasses. Not sunglasses, not prescription lenses, but smart glasses. These tiny computers that can record, translate, navigate, analyze, and whisper information straight into your ear. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too. <laughs> We're heading towards a world where smart glasses could become as common as smartphones. So the real question is, what happens when everybody's eyes become their cameras and their screens. Smart glasses today can already do some pretty powerful things. Like for example, take hands-free photos and videos. Translate whatever you're looking at from menus to conversations. So cool. I can understand what you're saying. Now you don't have to translate for me anymore. The first step, we will cut the tomatoes in half. Okay. Show navigation directly in your field of view. Play music without covering your ears. Display real-time captions when people speak. But with the display, you could do even better. Uh, you can put subtitles on the world. Okay, let me get it going right now. All right. We're ready for it. If you have an issue hearing, then I think that this is going to be a game changer. Read text out loud for people with low vision or dyslexia and identify objects, text, and scenes using AI. Smart glasses do everything that your phone already does. Except now, you don't have to slouch over like a barbarian risking permanent spine damage. My back. Oh, my back. One of the challenges with smart glasses gaining popularity is that they often look like rejected sci-fi props. Take Google Glass, for example. It's a cool idea, but it also made you look like a Google ass. <laughs> just kidding. It just belonged more in the Star Trek world or something. But now, Ray-Ban Metas, X-Real, V-Tour, there's a new wave of smart glasses that actually look like real glasses. Stylish, familiar, wearable, and that is game changing. Once technology becomes invisible, adoption tends to rise. It happened with smartwatches, it happened with earbuds, smart glasses, are likely next. So let's fast forward a few years and envision what this might look like. You step outside, your glasses wake up and quietly show you the fastest route. No phone, no map, no fumbling at crosswalks. Okay, maybe still a little bit of fumbling. Another scenario, you walk into a store. Prices, reviews, and sustainability info appear only when you look at something. It's not in your face, just subtle and helpful, helping you make informed choices on what you buy. Imagine approaching an intersection. The crosswalk light turns green, your glasses notice and they let you know. A group of cyclists approaches you from the other side. You get a gentle audio cue, helping you avoid another world war. Imagine you're cooking dinner. The recipe and instructions float beside your cutting board, automatically scrolling as you finish each step. No more forgetting ingredients, and no more disappointed Gordon. I'm fucking done. Get out! Chef. Get out! Okay, now the last example. A distressed tourist asks you something in Swedish. Instant subtitles appear under their words. I am looking for the chosen one. You respond, and your reply gets translated back to them. I am the chosen one. One conversation becomes two. Suddenly, you're sharing a quiet moment under a tree discussing important things like who the best Kardashian is and why the hobbits didn't just fly to Mordor. You fall in love, get married, raise a family. Time moves quickly. The children grow up shockingly fast because of course, the glasses are optimizing their sleep cycles. Then you find out why your wife was looking for the chosen one. Turns out there's a whole Swedish cult, ceremonial robes, hallucinogenics, Oh shit. This is the type of world that smart glasses promise. Maybe not that last bit, but you get the gist. Technology that blends into daily life so seamlessly, it stops feeling like technology at all. But here's the thing. There's two sides to this story. Smart glasses help you do more, but they also see more. And that brings issues we've never faced before. First, privacy gets blurry. With smartphones, it's pretty obvious when someone is filming you. You see the phone, the angle, the awkward arm position, but with smart glasses that look completely normal, you might have no idea you're being recorded. That makes things complicated fast. From private moments to situations 
that absolutely shouldn't be filmed. Smart glasses introduce a real serious risk to everyday privacy, which leads to human behavior changes. People act differently when they think a camera might be watching. And with smart glasses, that feeling could be everywhere all the time. When every conversation might be recorded, people get quieter, more careful, less honest. It creates a world where you're not really speaking freely, you're performing. And let's not forget who might see everything that you see. Companies get unprecedented data. Where you look, how long you look, what you react to, what you ignore. This isn't just data. It's a blueprint of your behavior, your attention, your impulses, your vulnerabilities. In the wrong hands, that's incredibly powerful. Also consider that your focus isn't fully yours anymore. With smart glasses, notifications don't stay on your phone. They enter your line of sight. You're not choosing what to look at anymore. You're reacting to whatever appears in front of you, which also means your vision could get curated. Smart glasses won't just add information. They'll decide what you notice, what gets highlighted, what gets dimmed, and what quietly disappears from your attention. And once ads get involved, things shift even more. You're not just seeing the world, you're seeing the version of the world someone paid to put in front of you. Maybe the glasses highlight one restaurant over another. Maybe a product on the shelf glows just a little bit brighter. Maybe certain people get a recommended for you vibe. Smartphones changed how we behave and smart glasses can change how we perceive the world. It's kind of scary. Phones revolutionized everything, connection, safety, and information. But they also brought distraction, addiction, and constant notifications. Smart glasses could be the next big breakthrough or the next big trap, just hands-free. The difference will come down on how we design them, who actually owns them, and how we decide to use them. So what would a world look like with everybody wearing smart glasses? It might be more efficient, more informed, more connected, but only if we set boundaries and we learn from the mistakes we made through the smartphone era. The technology isn't necessarily the problem. It's how we use it and how we let it shape our lives and our attention. Would you wear smart glasses or does it still feel a little bit too a black mirror for you? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing or sharing with a friend. It really helps a lot. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time with these smart glasses.